Hello makers. This is an update video of the stuff I've been working on this year. These haven't been open sourced yet, so let me know which ones you want to see more of. The cycloidal brushless quad is still my main project, but I get distracted by servo quad designs, new types of cycloidal gearboxes, and robotic arms. Capstan drives are always interesting and creep into many projects due to their simplicity. Some designs are just for the kids and others help me learn new things. Like and subscribe for future projects. Also check out Instagram for the latest updates. The prosthetic elbow has a 40 to 1 timing belt and capstan drive reduction with an internal NEMA 17 stepper motor. It can lift 3 kilograms at 30 centimeters. It is easily back drivable and has zero backlash. Ideally, it shouldn't be back drivable. I've made several prototypes of this robotic wrist with the semi-differential cable drives with the idea to move the mass back as far as possible. The hover teddy or teddy way is an idea of my daughter. It needs some improvements. She wants to sell it to Build-A-Bear. This is the latest prototype of the brushless cycloidal quad. I'm trying to reduce weight and complexity of the legs. The jump jig for the mini servo quad is so simple. The legs use expensive servos, but they move pretty fast. The idea is to move the mass of the leg to the hip. This has a brushless motor inside a capstan drive linked with a timing belt. The room size claw machine was another idea of my daughter. It just used many of my robotic parts, which I needed back. This was my first brushless dual capstan drive. Simple but bulky. The fully ball raced cycloidal drive has nearly 40 bearings and a brushless motor. I have never explained how the parallel linked series elastic actuators from the Hackaday Prize worked. It makes jumping easy. The quad uses standard sized servos and a simplified version of the elastic actuators. This mini quad has some new legs coming. Due to the global chip shortages, new versions of these brushless actuator boards are on hold. I'm hoping to use this cycloidal brushless actuator in an exoskeleton. It needs some improvements and it must be back drivable. <laughs> 